Hey everyone, this is Mike Johnson and I'd like to introduce you to the Instant Curator plugin. Instant Curator is more than just a curator or content generator. It is really a content engine that um, can produce content for your WordPress blog from an unlimited number of sources. Yes, right out of the box we packaged um, 27 content sources to additional uh, content generation tools which is 29 overall sources almost 30 uh, content sources with by the time you actually purchase the plugin they'll probably be more included in the the plugin package already we're adding new content sources to the plugin every other day so and we'll also take feedback on the best content sources to add to the plugin well what does the plugin do I guess the big question is the plugin allows you to take a content source and generate it into instant content on your blog using short codes. Now, if we scroll down here, right here is your, your base settings page you come into when you first uh, activate the plugin. And you can see here we have automatic updates for the plugin. Um, we can cache remote images uh, on your blog to increase SEO performance of of the content that you do pull remotely um, and we have some other stuff here I'm going to talk about a little later alright but down here you can see the menu item for instant curator and you can see uh, settings add new and all short codes well, I'm going to click on the all short codes link and you're going to see here <clears throat> the current short codes we have in the system and what this I see in the front of it instant curator in front of each one of these items is there to simply uh, make our short codes compa more compatible with other short codes so we don't conflict or uh, bump into any other short codes and make the uh, plugin very interoperable with almost any other plugin uh, that uses short codes on the market. Now, if you go through the content sources here, you will see uh, we have Article Builder, Articles Base, Bing Images, Bing News, Bing Related Content, Bing Search, Bing Video. Craigslist, Dig, eBay, Eventful, Feedzilla, Flickr, Google News, Google Search, iTunes, Music Match, Oodle, PR Web, Recipes from Recipe Puppy, Spin Rewriter, Term Extract, The Best Spinner, Twitter, Twitify, Yahoo Answers, Yahoo Suggest, and YouTube. Now, these are the content sources that come packaged with the plugin. And there's really three levels of operation of this plugin. There's um, there's something here for everyone. There's beginner level, there's intermediate, and there's advanced or power users. Okay. And first off, we're going to look at what this plugin does for a beginner who wants to curate content on their blog. First, you're going to go to posts. All right. Add new, and you're going to be in your post editor in WordPress and you're going to see the instant curator short codes button and simply all you have to do to create a post is to click on the short code button and you can literally go through your content sources here and drag and drop it into the post editor and you're going to see what it says here I Bing News keyword and in between the quotes all you have to do is type in the keyword you want to use so you say well I want articles from Bing News on WordPress and then you go over to your preview button click on preview and what happens is it pulls up articles based on that okay you see here there's multiple articles and depending on our settings we can get from the front end here we're now on the front end of the blog we can choose what articles we want to show and as a beginner okay okay those are the articles I want that's what I want in there great I can now go back to my post and I can continue to add content 
from any of the content sources. I can say ah, I want an image from Flickr. I want uh, which can be formatted like any other post. I want some iTunes music that I'm going to put in here. Articles about music, and I'm going to uh, put a YouTube video in here as well. And you do the same thing. You add in your keywords. And you can say WordPress. And I say, well, WordPress really doesn't fit my iTunes. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to put WordPress in here. And right now I go to my preview button again. And it reloaded. And I now have a picture from Flickr on WordPress. And I have a WordPress video. And I can now go and say, mm, I want different videos than this. WordPress plugin creation. WordPress for beginners. Perfect for what I'm looking for here. And there's WordPress for dummies picture here. Now I say, OK, I got really what I want and don't ignore this overall rating not rated thing that's from another plugin that's for a ratings plugin to actually rate and review uh, the content here but you can see here I can go into each one of these short codes as a beginner my Bing news I can scroll through to pick the articles I want I can scroll through this and flicker and pick pictures I want and I can do the same with my videos. Right now, I don't know of any other plugin that does anything like that. Okay, now when we're curating content, we now, that takes about, uh, that really took about, what, a minute to do, to do that? Maybe less, 30 seconds to do this, if you were already in tune with the plugin. Okay, well, that is the basics of what the plugin can do. That is the sheer basics of what the plugin can do. Now when you're getting into intermediate level, we're now start, we'll now start talking about uh, getting a little bit more, uh, you know, massaging our content a little bit more. Okay? And we can do it two ways. We can um, modify it in here or we can go back into our short code settings. But if we want to go back and do the same thing here again and say, okay, I want some, I want Bing News. Oh, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. I want Bing News. And I click the drop down. Right, and you're going to see that there is a ton of options here to check on. Right, what this does is adds to your shortcut. Okay, now you can literally hover over each one of these and it'll give you a tool tip on what you can add to your short codes okay now the refresh attribute here can allow you to literally refresh the content you know constantly every hundred views every day at 1245 every Monday you can refresh the content and change it which is great for pictures you know maybe videos not necessarily content unless you're you know um, have something special you're doing but it's an option that's there, okay? Or if you have, if you just want to show like an active news feed to pull the latest news on your site, you can literally do that and have it automatically refresh. So, I mean, there's just tons of, tons of options here with the, the plugin. Order, what this does here is um, default is just a single response where you get just a single article, not a single article, but a single pull from whatever content source. Like, uh, I wouldn't be able to refresh it on the site to see more results if I just have default. If I have it on random, I can do it. Well, I can change this same stuff back in the base settings of the uh, short codes as well. Loop is nothing more than the number of results that you're pulling um, for your content. Key. There's some of these content sources that need uh, API keys to pull content. Okay, and right now I have API, API keys and everything, and uh, that's going to be another video on setup, so you can see exactly how to set the plugin up and add your own API keys to pull content. 
not a big deal it's quick and easy keyword um, is automatically selected so you can type in the keyword phrase like we did in the short codes pool um, market the region you'd like your search to take place in and uh, other options that you can input into your short codes. Now, if I put um, loop here and uh, refresh, for instance, I could add them into my short code. I could dr drag it over here, and it'll automatically be in there. Now, my refresh. I want to say I never want it to refresh. My loop is my number. As if you forget, you can come over here and look. Display this many items from the results. Hmm. I only want it to display one item. Okay, refresh. I already put that. Never. Okay, you can see in the tooltips <coughs> the attributes you can put in. Okay, and keyword, I want WordPress. Okay, I simply go over. I click on preview. Again, I go back to my page. You see now, I only pulled one article from Bing. Okay, Bing News. And it has the attribution link built in. Okay, but if I don't like that, I can refresh it. And it pulls a different item from the Bing News feed based on that keyword. It's that easy. Okay, and you can do this with all of the short codes. The only short codes that are different from this are the best spinner and the spin rewriter, which, <coughs> excuse me, which allow you to actually spin content. For instance, I can add it in here and redo that because I drag it right over top of something. I can go to spin rewriter and it automatically comes up and shows you when you put your or your paragraph of If I ever want to get rid of this box over here, it's getting in my way. I just. All right. Now, anything inside the spin rewriter blocks here will be automatically spun. Same thing if I used the best spinner. Okay. And I just drug that right over top of it accidentally. Okay. I can do the same thing with the best spinner. Now you see in each one of these, all the spinning attributes that come from the API are included in here. All the different things that you can do and all the description of what each thing does is there that you can add to your short codes to a uh, big one here, refresh. You can refresh this, um, you know, and have it spun every, you know, six weeks, so whatever. You can do to update content on your blog. Okay, so same thing. The best spinner, same thing. You have all the different uh, attributes. Okay, so that's your intermediate level. But we'll take it a step further by um, going into the settings, looking at all short codes, and if you go into uh, Bing News like we were looking at, for example, it gives you the breakdown of exactly what the plugin's doing and all the values. And you can actually change the values in here to anything you want. And you can change and modify anything you want in here, and you can't hurt anything can't hurt anything because if you want to make it look the way it originally does like right now all you have to do is click this little button down here called restore defaults and it'll bring it back to its original look and feel okay but you have what's called uh, template tokens 
here in the settings that allows you to use HTML and to customize exactly how everything looks when it's on your blog. You can change this to you can add you can add your own written content whatever, but this is what the base will be for every time you use a short code. And the same thing up here. You know, refresh never is the default value. You know, the order random, which means you can pull additional content on the front end. Loop is display as many items from the retrieved results. I can change this to one if I wanted to. Okay, but if I forget what it said and I'm worried about it and I want it to go back to defaults, um, all I have to do is go back down here, click on restore defaults, and it'll go back to the original. All right, um, keyword is clicked on here because that's what we want you to have as default to fill out to pull content. Okay, but everything else is you see here the market is US, you can go for all the different markets. Um, for big news all across the world. So you can see here there's a, just a tremendous amount of options for an intermediate user to really go into um, to customize everything. And now even at the beginner intermediate user level with the plugin you can take it really to the next level beyond that and go to the add new portion which allows you to create new short codes from any content and I'm actually going to show that in one of the other videos here so if you want to add your own content source literally you can do it as a power user you can add any content as a as a short code in instant curator from any XML feed RSS feed API JSON uh, feed file anything and you can add your own attributes and generate uh, template tokens automatically for the feed that you pull in which is phenomenal and I'm going to show that in one of the other videos here so that gives you the ability to literally input and create short codes and create templates from them from anything out there and as an advanced user you can edit tokens then this is for anybody anybody can do this you can't hurt this plugin you can pull any content in you can mess with it here see how it looks and try to create something mess it up go back and try again and you cannot hurt anything that's how flexible this plugin is how powerful it is there's literally nothing more powerful in the market right now that I know of you can customize your HTML you can customize your CSS and then you can preview what it's going to look like after the fact alright just so you can see how it works out and you can do it for anything anything at all that is the power of the, of the plugin you can go and curate and add any content you want on your site manipulate it add your own custom content to your post as well just like you do in any content curation but it goes beyond that the plugin is an instant curator of multiple sources of content really unlimited sources of content and it gives you the ability to create even more custom content from any content source that you can find on the internet it is that powerful all right that's the end of the first video Catch me in the additional videos to really dig into what Instant Curator can do.